Let's learn how to perform the semi-annual maintenance tasks on the MagPix. The semi-annual maintenance tasks for the MagPix system include replacing the syringe seal and o-ring, and cleaning the air filters on the back and bottom of the instrument. Before performing the semi-annual maintenance tasks, turn off and unplug the MagPix from the back of the instrument. Let's go through the steps to perform the semi-annual maintenance tasks. We will begin with maintaining the air filters. First, unplug the USB cable from the back of the instrument and slide the back filter up out of its holder. Next, lift the MagPix to expose the bottom of the instrument. Caution! Before lifting the MagPix to remove the bottom air filter, Remove both the waste and drive fluid containers, the off-plate reagent block, and any microtiter plates in the instrument. Slide the bottom filter out of its holder toward the front of the instrument. Clean both filters with distilled water or a vacuum. Stand filters upright to air dry. Caution! Filters must be completely dry prior to reinstallation. Locate the incised arrow on the frame of the filter. This indicates air flow. The filters must be installed with the arrow pointing inward. Next we will cover replacing the syringe seal. Open the side access door of the MagPix and locate the syringe. Using some force, Push the plunger guide down and unscrew the top of the syringe from its housing. Carefully remove it. Pull the plunger out of the syringe and dispose of any drive fluid. Using a pair of pliers, remove the white syringe seal and black o-ring and discard them. Place the new black o-ring and then press the new white seal down onto the o-ring and plunger. Return the plunger to the syringe and align the bottom of the plunger with the indentation in the plunger guide. Screw the top of the syringe back into its housing and tighten. Return the plunger guide to its original position. Finally, prime the system before use. Plug in and turn on the MagPix. Using Exponent software, go to the Maintenance page, Commands and Routines tab, and run two prime commands. Ensure there are no leaks in the syringe area during the prime. For more support information and videos, please visit www.luminexcorp.com dot com.